Throughout the last 60 days, I trained like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's right, I took on the workout routine of the most shredded actor in all of Hollywood. On Mondays and Thursdays, The Rock's workout consists of deadlift, pull-ups, seated cable rolls, face pulls, hammer curls, and dumbbell curls. Tuesdays and Fridays, he does bench press, overhead press, incline dumbbell press, tricep pushdowns, overhead tricep extensions, and lateral raises. And finally, on Wednesdays, he does squats, Romanian deadlifts, leg press, leg curls, and calf raises. If that wasn't all enough, The Rock does abs three times a week and incorporates cardio into every single workout. That's over two hours of working out, five days a week. After already seeing some impressive results from the first 30 days, all I had to do was continue to beat my body into submission using The Rock's rigorous workout routine and try not to die while eating as little carbs as possible while also increasing my protein intake. Day 31, you guys, I'm right back in it, and uh, I'm stoked. I'm excited to see what the next 30 days has in store. Today's abs and pull, of course. A little bit of cardio to finish it off. Let's do this. Honestly, my biggest mistake in the last 30 days while doing this challenge was my diet. I definitely cheated a few times. I had ice cream a couple times. I had alcohol on the weekends. I'm going to be completely destroying the diet. I'm going to be getting all that crap out of my diet. They say that abs are made in the kitchen and that must be true because I have been killing the workouts. I'm in the gym almost every day, you guys. I'm running like a madman, but I still can't get that last layer of fat off my stomach. So I'm going to be committing to the diet. I'm going to go super hard. I'm going to nail this thing down to perfection. simple and uh, I don't put any sugar in it or butter or milk or pretty much anything good I just eat it plain which is pretty barbaric but you know what it fills me up and it's pretty good for you it's day 39 and this diet is absolutely killing me you guys I thought it was pretty easy at first and uh, I know that last clip of me eating oatmeal made it seem like I was doing totally fine but not having sugar in literally anything is so hard sugar is in literally everything we eat I'm just running out of things to choose from and I'm getting so sick of tuna and hard-boiled eggs and chicken like I want to just throw up at the thought of it so I'm really hoping I can make it through but I'm really struggling with the food. and even though I was pretty down about that diet and having an overall bad day I just needed to stop being such a freaking baby about it and man up the Rock doesn't cry about what he eats. He just smiles and eats it. Day 48, you guys. We are like halfway through the second half of this challenge. I don't want to say that it's getting easier, but it's definitely become way more normal. Like just getting up, going to the gym, eating healthy, all that stuff is just, it's my norm now. When Karn makes cookies, I just don't eat them, which it's like very liberating. I'm happy to say that I have been so strong on my diet and I've been even stronger on working out. I have not missed a single gym day, which is fantastic. Today's leg day, let's go get it. So I found these chicken strips at Costco. They're grilled, nothing's added to them. They taste amazing and I don't have to cook them and I just add it to my salad. So yeah, super healthy, super tasty, super easy. Honestly doing so much better. I feel like the workout and the diet, it's all become so much of a routine for me now. Uh, even the diet, like I'm starting to crave those foods that I hated so much like last week. And I think maybe it was just like a process of like cleansing my body and just getting all the sugar and all the bad stuff out, all the carbs and actually just eating like whole grains, no sugars, no alcohol, none of that crap. I have been killing it in the gym, not missing a single beat, you guys. I'm really, really hoping at the end of this that I might see some abs. Mike.
day 56 it is early i think six o'clock <laughs> i thought it was earlier than that it is not <laughs> but uh excited for an early start at the gym got abs and pull today stoked we're getting really close to the end of this challenge and uh i'm excited to show you guys the results so let's get in the gym and let's get pounding out this workout To the end, I'm just being super stoked, you guys, to show you the results. Let's get it. And here we are, 60 day reveal, you guys. This is what I looked like after working out and dieting like the rock for 60 days straight. Check it out, tell me what you guys think in the comments. I definitely think that my overall image was more impressive after the 30 day range than the 60 day range. If you haven't seen my working out like the rock for 30 days challenge, definitely go and watch that link in the description and right above. I just think that things definitely slowed down for me in the muscle gains area. Um, I definitely have leaned out a little bit more in the last 30 days and I'll get into that in just a moment. Go over the big differences on my body. Obviously the biggest one being my arms. I think that the most noticeable change on my body is my biceps. They have gotten much bigger, way bigger than they've ever been in my life. In fact, my wife recently told me that she thinks I'm in the best shape that I've ever been in my life, and I would have to agree with her. Other than that, you can definitely see some improvements in my shoulders and in my back, but let's be honest, who's really looking at my back? I've also seen some improvements in my chest. Uh, I've always had a little bit of extra flab on the chest region. I've never been able to really uh, be very muscular looking there, but I'm happy to say that I've lost, definitely lost some fat in my chest and I'm starting to see some gains in the pectoral region, which is not a norm for me. And finally, you guys, the region that I was most excited about, but I think going to be the most disappointed in is my abs. I still don't have those fabled abs that I was so excited to get at the end of this challenge. I dieted so hard. I literally did not eat hardly any carbs. I was very hard on myself in terms of uh, how much sugar I had. I didn't drink alcohol for the last 30 days. I was very hard on myself and I worked out very, very hard every time I was in the gym. I didn't miss a beat, but for whatever reason, I still don't see those abs. I think I just need to keep going at it, just need to keep working. Maybe in another 30 days, we'll be even closer. But that being said, guys like The Rock that this workout is modeled after, he's been doing this for like over a decade. So I think time definitely plays a role, especially into um, changing my body over a long period of time versus changing it over a short period of time. We see really impressive gains right away. And then I think things really slow down for a long period of time. I just need to commit to a longer diet and a longer workout routine than just 30 days or just 60 days. That being said, would I recommend this diet to one of you guys or anyone really, or the workout routine? Yes, I would definitely recommend this diet and and workout routine to anybody that's interested in it. I think the title working out like the rock for 60 days is really intimidating because I mean, he's massive. He's literally the most fit person in all of Hollywood. And the reason is because he hasn't missed a workout in over a decade. You guys, the guy doesn't miss a single workout. He hardly ever cheats on his diet. And when he does, it's planned strategically so that he can see bigger gains the next time he goes and works out. So I think if you can commit to this for just 30 days, then you can definitely commit to it for a long period of time. The workout is really simple. It's not an extremely intricate workout or really difficult one. It's something that you would see on really any similar workout routine. I would highly recommend anyone to check that out. Link is right down below. I will post it to my Twitter page. Go check it out at Isaiah Photo if you want to see the full workout. And then the diet. I think the diet is huge for really anybody. I mean, us Americans especially, our diets are absolutely crap. I have noticed just all of the sugar and all the extra carbs that I eat every single day without even knowing that I'm eating it. I think anyone 
could use a better, cleaner diet. And I think the main thing with the diet is that you cannot outwork a bad diet. So I see a lot of my friends and family that want to get fit, that want to lose weight, go into the gym and get really committed to, you know, working out and getting fit and looking better, but they don't change their diet. If anything, they start to cheat even more. And that's never going to help you. You definitely have to be serious about your diet, especially if you want to see those fabled abs that I still can't see. I'm going to be bitter about that, guys. I'm going to be really, really bitter about that. So if you want to do this workout routine, I highly encourage you to commit to a solid diet and really be hard on yourself. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my channel. You guys, if you haven't seen the 30 days working out like the rock, go and watch that also. I will see you all in the next one. Peace y'all.